Hello everyone and welcome to another home theater review. I know this is a little late, I knew I said I would have like an X-Men 2 review out by now and stuff like that, but really I've been slammed and stuff like that, and just last night I had a chance to watch two movies that I had not seen before, so I thought I would review them um, before we continue on with our X-Men reviews. But we will continue on, but just first we're going to review these two movies. And uh, first up is a movie called Hidden Figures. It came out um, in, like, it was one of the first releases this year. So what I'm doing right now is actually I'm trying to go through all the releases that I missed that came out this year. But anyway, this was the story of uh, three mathematicians uh, who were African-American women back when NASA was trying to launch the first shuttle to go into outer space. Uh, and it's basically like the untold story. Like, you never really hear about them. And it was uh, Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson. So I'm going to start with the things I liked about this movie. For one, I don't, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. I might have in my Dunkirk review, but I love true story movies. They, I just really enjoy them all around. And so I was actually looking forward to this movie, like really looking forward to it. I wanted to go see it when it first came out. I just never got a chance to. And this movie, it has some of my favorite actors in it. Uh, Kevin Cosner. Um, I can't think of the other guy's name right now, but... um. It also has the guy who played uh, Sheldon in Big Bang Theory. It has Christian Dunst in it, who played Mary Jane. And it has uh, the guy who played Cottonmouth in Luke Cage. <laughs> so it had a lot of, like, nerd people in there. But uh, anyway, this movie, a few things that I didn't like about it was I think it went on too long. It did kind of drag. Some truth, And uh, I wasn't crazy about the home life. I know that it has to focus on that because if you just saw them working all the time, you'd just be like, okay, so they never did have a husband or anything like that. But it just, I don't know, I feel, I feel like they put a little too much focus on the home life. But there was some really emotional scenes in it to me. Uh, one scene, I don't want to say, because just in case you haven't seen it, but there's a scene where Kevin Cosner's character basically like takes the segregation into his own hands in one part and does something at NASA that's really cool. And then there's a whole scene where they're talking about the bathrooms where the main uh character Katherine Johnson is in the room full of people who have been like looking at her wrong and stuff like that and it's just really emotional and if you haven't seen it those are some of the best scenes in the movie and uh all around this movie was enjoyable it wasn't my favorite true story movie I don't think it deserves the 93 percent it has on Rotten Tomatoes but that that is just my opinion I feel, to me, it is enjoyable, but it wasn't as enjoyable as Dunkirk or another movie that's kind of like this, The Help. I really enjoyed The Help. It's one of my favorite true story movies. Um, but anyway, all in all, I did think this movie was enjoyable. I pro This would probably be a one-time watch for me, but it is good for checking out, especially if you're into true, true story movies. So I think I would rate it probably a 6.5. But anyway, you guys, uh, the next review will be up right after this one. So they will be both coming out today. And I will see you guys in the next video.